Hi, Nina here. In this video, I show you how to remove peach fuzz or hair off the face in Photoshop using three different approaches. So first off, what I'm going to do is create a new blank layer and name this layer Darken. And the second layer Lighten. And we're going to change the blending modes of those layers to darken and lighten. So first off I'm going to use the clone stamp tool. Uh, the blending mode for that is normal. Uh, the opacity is 100. The flow is 100. And make sure you select current and below. Now I tend to use this on the edge of the jawline I get a cleaner result but as you can see if I'm going to change the blending mode to darken now uh, I'm going to get on the actual skin more um, of the areas around the brightest hair a little bit darker probably not the best approach for here so I've gone and changed the to the healing brush and make sure again you select current and below and I'm getting a cleaner result on the for the darker hair on the lightened blend mode layer I'm just using that healing brush tool and removing that hair nicely it seems to work well when obviously uh, on the light and blending mode rather than the darken which is I'm finding okay so I've changed to the clone stamp tool on the light and blending layer and yeah I'm not getting the results that a clean result that I like So back over to the other image where the hairs are brighter I'm using the clone stamp and just working my way around and again I'm not getting good clean results change the blending mode back to normal Now what I'm going to do is use a frequency separation action working on the median and my first layer I'm going to make it the radius 6 pixels and the second one fifteen and as you can see it brings out all the details this is just a solar layer a helper layer for me to see what I'm editing sometimes your eyes can get used to it and it's good to mix it up a bit so I'm just using the clone stamp on the high medium worker layer and as you can see I'm getting good clean results removing the brightest hairs on the face now here along the edge as you can see it's not taking away all of the hair and I will have to go around um, because that's in the colors and tones which is in the low medium so I'm going to have to work on that layer and remove the hair along there and this also can be used um, for the hair underneath the lip the goal is to remove uh, the brightest hairs and once I've done that I will have to go in and do some dodging and burning as well and you can change the blending mode um, to darken and lighten for the actual healing brush or the clone stamp tool and as you can see I get a better result um, using the clone on the edge and I've removed most of that hair on using the blank layers but I just thought I'd go in and show you 
so a bit of before and after I turn it all off and that's how I remove peach fuzz where on the face <laughs>